Mo has today. King Mo, how are you today, King Mo? I'm doing good, just chilling. Just know. chilling? Got your crown on, I see. Looking good with the crown on. I just want you to know that I brought that crown so he could wear it because I can't let him go without his crown because he is King Mo. <laughs> All right, getting down to the big important story of the week here. You've got a big fight coming up against Liam McGreary. Mm -hmm. How did you change up your training camp for him? I really didn't change much up. I just brought in different people. Um, I brought in the good jiu-jitsu guy, um, Devin Moultrie. He's 6'7", right. 250 pounds. Um, my coach, Coach Darren Ward came in a little earlier from uh, England. Um, Gary uh, Clark's still here, and uh, I just I got a chance to work with uh, Alexander Rakic. Okay. He won his fight um, two days, two nights ago via KO first round, and he's a young lion. He's a beast. Uh, so I, I feel like I'm over overly prepared for this fight. Now we have some photos from a previous Bellator weigh-in, and it looks like you and Liam are quite friendly in those photos. Are you friends with him? And if so, does that make it harder to fight him? Me and Liam are friends, but it don't make it harder to fight him. It just, I just gotta get the knockout because me and Liam are friends. So if I if I punish him for too long, it could ruin his career and vice versa. So right. the goal is to get the knockout, just to save the damage, and we can go on and fight another day. You know, I wanted to talk to you about your last fight with Bader. Have you had a chance to look at the video? Because when I looked at it, it looked like more it was a knee to the head that was the issue. Yeah, you know what? The the, the first issue was that um when I, I was thinking range over rhythm. Right. When it's rhythm, really for me, it's always rhythm over range. So I get my rhythm going, then get the range. But he caught me the left hand, and I was, I, was a, I was trying to hold my bounce, I fell. He ran at me, and when yeah. he ran, he overshot me, knee me in the head. And if you watch the follow up ground to pound, nothing really landed, it's just knee in the head, froze me. But it's a part of the fight game. So, you know, I have to, my goal is to get these wins, and then get a chance to fight him and Matt Mitchell later. Speaking of Matt Mitrio, no love lost between you two, huh? <laughs> not, not at all. I think he's a clown. You know, like, you know, he he um, he's a good fighter, but he he's he's overly over. You know, I think he's a little arrogant in a sense. All right. What about Rising? You fought there the past couple of times. Can we look forward to that, or is it too early to tell for this year? Uh, for this year, I doubt it because okay. uh, they got Floyd Mayweather on the card, right. and for I understand, Floyd took up the whole budget. Um, he so expensive, Crow Cop can't even get in the card, so. I doubt this year, but maybe maybe next year, who knows? What is the biggest misconception fans have about you as a person, k Uh Honestly, I don't know because, like, the fans I know, I'm cool, you know, they know me as a cool person. Um, the ones that don't know me, they might, they can think whatever they want. I don't really know what they're thinking because I don't, I don't communicate with them. So if they do say something negative, I just block them, I don't, you know? So I, I really don't know, really. I, I have no idea what they think about me because I don't really care, really. He's a cool guy, ML, MMA fans, a really cool guy. Speaking of being cool, which fight, looking back, are you most proud of? Uh, my fight with uh, Staff Infection. It wasn't the fight with the person, the fight with Staff Infection, because it almost took my right. career. Right. Um, I had to work back hard to get, to, work, to get back here, and I still have, yeah. a, I still have you know, effects, side effects from that, oh, which is hyperthyroid. I got hyperthyroid, that's why I'm, it's hard for me to keep weight on. Wow. Because now, if I eat, if I eat like a, a big meal, I sweat. My body temperature rises, and I start sweating. So, yeah, that affects me. Hyperthyroid. I hate it. It's all right. At least you get to eat a lot of food. I suppose we have to worry about our weight. Before we go today, is there anything else you want to add? And can you please give us your social media handles? Y'all purchased the zone. The zone is the the new. It's the, it's the new thing. Hey, pay per view is dying. So get the zone. You can watch Bellator. You can watch Combatus America. They're bringing Major League Baseball, Canelo fights on the zone. Um, you have a lot of great athletes over in Europe, as well as Anthony Joshua, the biggest attraction in combat sports. He's on the zone too for $10 a month. So if you're smart, you get the zone. All right, Suns fans, and you better catch King Mo this weekend and Mo Tour 231. It'll be on Saturday night from Hawaii on the zone. King Mo, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. I wish you good luck.